already looking like the 2020 presidential election will feature some of the most diverse candidates in American history. But there's one class of politician feeling like they get no love at all. Amy Hoggart has more. The presidential election is still 21 months away, but there are already too many choices. How can any candidate stand out from the pack? Your net worth is something close to three and a half billion dollars. Billion dollars. Billion dollars. A real life billionaire! Exactly what America needs. But it seems like everywhere you look, billionaire has become a bad word. They keep saying that it's immoral for anybody to be a billionaire. Is being successful now the new villain? Oh no, if we don't do something quick, a billionaire might not charge us eight bucks for a somewhat tolerable coffee. They should be sending these 0.1% people birthday cards, thank you <laughs> notes, candy. That talking shrimp toast is right. So on a perfectly random street corner, I set up a crafting tent and dragged in some locals to share their Valentine's messages with America's real heroes, billionaires. They were told to be creative, romantic, but most of all, sincere. Fuck billionaires. They should be illegal. But billionaires are humans too, right? Um, biologically, yeah. I mean, I'm not opposed to them. I... Okay. Well, no, you know, you know what? I sort of am opposed Why? to them. Nobody deserves to earn that much money. What? Earning that much money is an American right. The car, the mansion, the yacht, the smaller yacht, the exotic accountant. What are the super rich supposed to do with all that cash if they don't run for president? You can easily redistribute your massive amounts of wealth that you'll never spend in your lifetime to people who need it. You really hate billionaires. I mean, yeah. So you are discriminating against a minority. <laughs> no, no, I, no. And this affluent phobe is not alone. 70% of the country is on board with making billionaires, get this, pay more taxes. But this lady gets it. Billionaires have done some amazing things in this country. They've donated a lot of money. Mm -hmm. They've brought a lot of jobs, been very innovative in right. changing what we do. Do you think they'd make good presidents? Definitely no. Yeah, I think you need some kind of experience in public office to okay. run. Well, look at the situation we're in now. Trump basically bought himself into the White House. So I don't think billionaires should be in politics. Excuse me just one second. Chad! Chad's our fact checker. Trump being a billionaire has never been confirmed. Thanks, Chad. But I thought it's a government for the people, by the people, and... Corporations are people, my friend. So isn't running a corporation and a government the same thing? Great business people are terrible at running economies. Terrible? Yeah. But who should I believe? Billionaires or this Nobel Prize-winning economist who just happened to stop by our tent next to this local neighborhood coffee shop? Billionaires are super rich, aren't they? So they must be really successful. Well, sometimes they're just lucky. Sometimes they really are smart, but about something really teeny narrow. And also there's billionaire's disease. Or known by its medical name, yes meningitis. People want what you can give them, and so they tell you what you want to hear. And so billionaires start to think that they're brilliant, that they're charming, that they're sexy, and uh, generally speaking, uh, not so, right? But stone-cold money foxes don't need yes men. Because as a CEO, he's got all the right qualifications. My business experience is not qualifications to run for president. Oh, uh, OK. But he's got a detailed tax plan that does it all. I should be paying more taxes. Are you talking about you should pay 2% higher, 10% higher, 20% higher federal income tax? I don't, uh, Poppy, I don't know what the number is. Ugh, OK, just please don't help Trump get reelected. You promise that you will not be a spoiler. Let's clarify this right now, right here, on national TV, on CNN. Here it comes. How can you spoil a system that is already broken? You bloody idiot. It's not the right word. You know what? If you need help finding the right words, here are a few. Are you a beaver? Because damn, you barely thought any of this through. I heart to you, but not as much as I heart your money. Build a hospital. And happy Valentine's Day. Step away from this self-aggrandizing attempt to insert yourself into national politics. Thank you, next. Love, Amy.